Hi everyone, it's Mike here. So don't forget to click that subscribe and bell icon to receive a notification each time I upload a new video. So, I need to create uh, my covers for my Mission Inspiration art journal for 2019. Uh, I still haven't done it, even though we're fast approaching um, February and the second month. I've got my first page waiting to go in that I did in January, but I still haven't done the covers because I've just been mega busy. That's been my excuse anyway. So I've got um, some grey grunge board cut at 8 inches by 8 inches. There's the base. So I've got two pieces. I'm only going to be working on the one today. So this is um, three millimetres thick, so it's 3,000 micron book board if you like so it's the really really thick stuff so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to completely cover the board with matte medium because I have an entire piece uh, or an 8 by 8 piece of um, patterned paper that I want to use as the base cover for this journal so I'm just going to slather it all on, like so. Make sure I've got plenty on the edges. I don't want it peeling up, but then again, it doesn't really make any difference whether it peels up or not. And the piece of paper that I have is a map of the British Isles. So I'm going to do my best to kind of line that up without leaning in. Make sure I've got it as near as I can to those corners. If it's a little bit out, that's okay, don't mind. Then I'm just going to go over the top with a little bit more just to kind of seal it in. Now, this will attempt to bow because I'm adding adhesive on the front and nothing on the back so it's, it's going to try, the fibres are going to try and pull, but that's okay. And obviously I'm going to try and avoid any bubbles or wrinkles in the paper so I think that's going to about do it. Right, I'm going to try and get that dry but I will get that dry, and once it's done, I'll be right back. Okay, so that's glued down, and as you can see, there is a bow on the card now, but that's fine, because when I decorate the back, it will also pull that back, and it will pull itself back into, um, back into shape, if you like. So, this is a map of the British Isles, that's going to be on the front cover. Currently, I live about here. It's just where my nail is, and we'll be moving to about there, <laughs> just where my nail is. So it's about 40 miles further south, but still central England. So around about here, this is where my mum and dad live. So just thought I'd share that bit with you. Okay, so I've pulled out some bits and pieces of ephemera because that's how I like to decorate my uh, mission inspiration journals. So I've got all sorts of bits and pieces of ephemera from all different kind of sources, different places. Um, mostly Tim Holtz, because, you know, why not? Um, so that's what I'm going to be using. So I'm going to start off with this piece, which isn't Tim Holtz. And I'm just going to use my diary glue stick. And I don't mind getting some glue on the background, so don't worry about that. And I'm going to place this piece this is mostly going to be like cluster work and I'm not adding any grunge onto this at all. I'm just going to stick it down as is because I'll be adding the grunge later. So second bit of ephemera. And I'll be going over and sealing this as well. So that can go down there. I'm going to try and kind of keep this section of the British Isles clear. Okay, 
So the next is going to be my chap. Now I've got this piece here which has got January, February, March, April, May, June, all the way through to December, which is going to be perfect for um, the content which is going to be my Mission Inspiration journals, or Mission Inspiration um, at journal pages. So get some glue on the back of that one. That's a flashcard. So that's going to go in about there. And I'm just going to layer and cluster these where I think they're going to fit best. And then I'm not sticking him down until probably a little bit later. So I've got an admit one ticket there. I'll just go around with that. And I'm going to put that probably about there. So I'm building up the cluster around. I've got a handle with care, <laughs> which me likes. So that's going to go in there. Like so. I've also got one of the Tim Holtz milk tops which I do like, but really haven't found that many uses for them because I don't really do as many kind of like clusters like this that I, as I would like to do. So I'm going to try and put that one down there. Stick that on there. And then this one, which says a 5-4. Nice little piece of retail ephemera. I will stick just behind his head. I can go there. And then we have a glycerin lotion. just there just over that ticket now I'm leaving him sat where he is just so I can get the placement and kind of alignment right for when I stick him down permanently in a little while so I want something just to cover this little corner here so I'm going to put that little merchandise one just under his feet down there just so there's something kind of grounding him and it doesn't matter that you can't really read it and then a, one more circle piece here just to kind of balance that circle piece on the top left so I'm going to add a little circle piece here on the bottom right, about there. Just to bring that in a little bit more. Like that, like that, and then one final piece, which is this. Crown Diamonds, which I will add just about there. Hopefully that's going to stick. Just like that. I could add that circular piece, in fact I think I will, just to kind of add that triangle so the circles provide that kind of um, visual triangle 
help draw your eyes in around the page via the circles. There. Like that. Okay, so I now want to glue him down. Now I know it's going to be raised up in certain areas, but that's okay. So I'll go right the way over. Make sure I've got glue everywhere. And then I know that he wants to stand on there. And his shoulder just wants to cover up that California code there. If the glue doesn't want to stick, which it should do, I'll put something weighted down on top of it just to encourage it a bit more. But I know it's going to lift off a little bit there anyway. Okay, so happy with all that. I like the way the clusters are, but like I said before, it's um, not not grunged up at all. So this is where that grunging comes in. So I'm going to grab some um, paint. I've got some. Indigo Blue Hot Cocoa, which I'm going to take a little bit off. And I'm going to take away some paintbrush. I did have a clean paintbrush here a second ago. Of course I used it for that medium, didn't I? Duh. Yes, yes, I know if I had half a brain I'd be dangerous. Okay, so I'm going to take a tiny, tiny bit of that brown paint and some more of that matte medium and I'm going to tint the matte medium with the brown paint a little bit more so this is going to act as that coat and sealer all mixed in. And then I'm going to go over See, it's adding like a little bit of a sepia tone over everything. I'm making sure I get all the crooks and nannies. And where you want it darker, just go in darker and add another layer. So you can take it a little bit further around the edges and of course don't forget this is matte medium so when it dries it's not going to have a shine on it. But everything will be sealed and you've got that real kind of grungy look.
thicker in areas and not in others. Cool, that'll do. I've got enough there to do another one. So I'll get that heated up, warmed up, nuked, and I'll be back. Okay, so that is now pretty much dry. There's still a little bit of shine on him, but I will knock that back later with some clear gesso. But before I do that, I've got my potting soil archival link. So all I'm going to do now is just add some more grunge <laughs> around the edges. Because, you know, I can. And remember, the archival ink is permanent. just builds up gradually. As you can see look in the corner there. Which is really really cool. So I will probably add a little bit more to that once it's dried a little bit further. But what I want to do now is just flip over the cover, get my page from January. So this was January's art journal page and I'm just going to line that up just so I've got the mark for where I need to punch my holes for the cover. Put that to one side and then I can go and grab my crocodile, my crocodile, and I can punch my holes straight in where those marks were. No messing. He says, clear the hole out. Just like that. And then I'm going to grab a couple of copper eyelets. So I'm going to properly finish these eyelets off. Pinch, pinch. Okay, so I can put that to one side now. I've got my rings. Now, from experience, it's best to go in that way towards the back. And then I can add in my journal page, close that up, bring it all the way over and then I can add my back cover by doing exactly the same thing, punching the holes which I should have done all at once. So let me just get... Pencil, pencil, dial. I've got a pokey tool here somewhere. Little brad all or bra uh, an all. I'm just used to punch those out or push them out. Because it's, it's thick. It's very tick. Tick stuff. This card. Also, the same kind of card that I use for the covers of my handmade journals, so I know it's very thick and very sturdy and can stand up to a lot. A lot, a lot. 
Now, I'm not going to put the eyelets in, obviously, until I've decorated the back. So, back there, put that there, and then the back can go there, that can go there, and then I've got the beginnings of my mission inspiration journal. Now, I may swap the size of the rings later on, make them a little bit smaller, but that gives me the scope to add in um, each one of the mission inspiration pages for 2019 and actually have some thickness. I'll show you um, my journal from 2018. So that was my 2018 journal. As you can see, I've gone a bit grungier this year on both sides and also covered the inside and put some pockets in there as well which I probably will do at a later date. So that was for 2018, this one's for 2019. So that's the start of the journal anyway. So dead easy, very quick, very simple, you don't have to be um, you know that experienced to be able to create a journal cover like this, particularly when you're using the book rings, you don't have to bind it. It's really simple. You can just punch the two holes in, put your book rings in, and you're off and up and running. So I'm now ready to do my second page for February and add this to the journal and as and when finish off the covers. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share the video with your friends, and if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. That's all from me for now. I will see you again on Saturday because, like I said, it's the mission inspiration for February this Saturday coming, which will go live on our Facebook group um, at 12 noon GMT because I'm based in the UK. Okay, see you soon. Bye for now. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you, these videos would not be possible. Thank you.